the stars, um, I'm in play mode, so you can see uh, they're actually just this tiny little, tiny little sphere. Um, they they draw behind everything else, uh, and they're uh, anchored to the player, so they move with you. So there's no parallax or anything, um, but they're actually really small. Um, so you know the whole star field is just this little bubble around you as you go. Um, but I wanted to show the stars because uh, you know in a lot of games you have like a skybox and it's like this painted texture or whatever. Um, we actually modeled them out. Um, uh, we have a, a tool that we use to generate these um, where we have control over like the density of the stars, the color, like range um, in terms of a gradient, um, the randomization of like scale of each star. Um, but the tool also gives us the ability to set uh, how many stars survive to the end of the loop versus how many stars supernova. Uh, and so, you know, each one of these little meshes um, will either fade out or play a little animation where it essentially shrinks and then expands and then fires off a little particle system um, to match the supernova. So, you know, we wanted to really communicate to the player like, hey, this isn't just your star, like this is the end of the universe, everything yeah. is dying. Um, and so that's why we have these meshes. Uh, and we also, you know, a big part of the art direction, as I said, was like NASA inspired. So we wanted this to feel more like photos you'd see from NASA instead of like, you know, cool sci-fi star field with all these crazy colors. Um, so we intentionally did more like muted natural colors to make it feel like, you know, you're out in the dark, unforgiving space. Um, and fun fact, we have a separate star field uh, for the dream world um, that has like more stars and they're brighter because we wanted it to feel like an earlier place and time in the universe. Mm. Um, and none of them go supernova. So, you know, if you're in the dream world at the end, there's still a nice starry sky. And then you go back to the real world and there's no stars left. I love that attention to detail. Uh, like when I saw this, I was just, or when I heard about this, I was just blown away that like you're among the stars the entire time. Like all the stars you see out in the distance are actually right in front of your face. They're just really small. Yep. And yep. I guess they're rendered behind any object that's in front of you. Exactly.